Yes, of course, there's the whole issue here of the British forming square because of the threat of the French cavalry here. But I, as a British commander, I'm going to think that I'm more interested in being able to shoot at the French so as to cause final casualties. If the French lose one more unit, they cannot possibly win the battle because uh, they will have lost four units and they had to get three up that road. Uh, they're more interested in doing that than they are in preserving their own numbers here. So even though uh, it means that the next turn these uh, chasseurs will be able to charge them and they're in line, um, even so they're willing to take the casualties. They haven't lost anything yet. So we'll see how that little uh, line of attack goes. Oh, uh, line of... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Tactics goes. Right. So... Um, that means that uh, because, uh, of course, that unit over there moved, they can't shoot. Uh, both the uh, British artillery batteries are still able to fire at the French artillery. So they can do that. And this unit of British infantry here can fire on the French infantry here. So we'll have the uh, French, uh, sorry, the British artillery firing first at the uh, French artillery. So we subtract two from each one. So that's worth a four, a good result. And then that's worth a two. So that's six hits on the French artillery, which is uh, so far, um, the French artillery over there, uh, which is uh, so far untouched. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six hits on them. Okay. And then we've got the uh, British infantry firing at the French uh, third battalion as we're calling them so we'll roll that up and they've scored three hits on them so the french third battalion and two three has now got um nine hits so they're close to two thirds shot away and that's the end of the uh british sixth turn <laughs>